Then we got co-main event of the evening. We have RDA taking on Brian Barberena. Rafael Dos Anjos is the former lightweight champion of the world. He's incredibly well-rounded, but is more of a grappler than anything. He's developed clean striking with some solid volume that's going to trick people into thinking he's going to strike with them before he starts working his grappling. It's easy to say, well, he's 2-3 and three in his last five, but if you look at who he lost to, he lost to Leon Edwards, current champion, Michael Chiesa, that was at 170 pounds, both of those, and then just recently, Rafael Fizayev, who we potentially could be champion by the end of 2023. And while he was brutalized in that Fizayev fight, he was able to take him down twice and rack up six minutes of control town. Troll town. He took him to control town with six minutes of control time. Brian Barbarena is a fun brawler who likes to come forward. He has a good gas tank. He is a busy striker. He's not very technical, but he's just technical enough. And he's got enough gas and pressure to make up for those holes. He's got decent wrestling and grappling, but almost never uses it. A few years ago, he had a great chin. It's probably starting to fade a little bit. He's in so many wars that, you know, those are going to take minutes and then hours and then years off of you. But what makes him so fun is his entire game plan is get hit, come forward, then hit his opponent. And he's coming off that KO win over Robbie Lawler. We had him in that underdog spot. You hate to see Robbie Lawler go out like that, but that was a great win for Brian Barberena for sure. And picking these fights with these aging vets are always tricky. RDA is absolutely the better fighter pretty much everywhere. He's going to be the more technical striker. He's going to be the much better grappler. He's going to have higher fight IQ. He's fought the higher level of competition. He's literally going to be better everywhere. But he's 38 years old. And he's only had two fights in two years. He's coming off that first KO loss since 2016. The only thing keeping me on the RDA side in this fight is that while Brian Barbarena is tough, he's got a 44% takedown defense. And outside of his last fight, we have not seen one punch KO power from him. So RDA is the pick because I trust him to grapple early. I trust him to grapple often. The bet, however, I'm definitely going to do a takedown prop bet here. Bet Online, one of our betting partners, does takedown prop lines. So they're probably going to set him at like two takedowns. And then I'm going to hit the more. Maybe they do two and a half. I'm going to hit the more because I think he's going to get takedown after takedown and just control from there. And Brian Barbarena, we know for a fact, can be taken down. I don't want to say easily, but he gets taken down. He gets ridden out. If you want to find out the very second that we place that bet, make sure you're a premium member. We want picks.com at the top. Click become a member. It is only $10 a month. That's $2.50 a week. And these last three weeks, I have given you 38 units of net Profit. So hop on that train and let's cash in at UFC Orlando.